Welcome to Stats with Morky. This is part two, or example number two. So we have on the left-hand side here a table that has all of the uh, sodium and fat content for a variety of McDonald's salads. So at the top there, it gives you the, the prompt. Uh, McDonald's restaurants offer a variety of salads. The table lists 10 different salads along with the amount of sodium in milligrams and the amount of fat in grams. Make a scatter plot to display the relationship between the amount of sodium and the amount of fat in the salads from McDonald's. Describe what you see. So once again, we're going to need to identify our variables first. So we have uh, two things we're looking at, the amount of sodium and the amount of fat. So in this particular example, um, it's not exactly explicit, kind of which one is which, so we kind of look at the table. In general, you're going to put the X first and the Y is going to come second. So we're gonna go with our explanatory variable being sodium. That's what we're going to predict and come up with an estimate for the amount of fat. So our sodium is the explanatory variable and our fat is our response variable. So that is going to dictate when we look at our uh, scatter plot, which one is our X and which one's our Y. So if I scroll down, you can see here is that table that I've created. Once again, you're looking for scale and labels. So our Y axis is going by fives and then we have uh, the amount of fat in grams. And then along the X axis there, we have our sodium in milligrams. So the second part of that prompt was asking us to describe what we see. So to describe that relationship, that's when we look for STUD. That's our acronym for what we are using to describe everything. So we're looking for strength, we're looking for the type, for any unusual features, and for the direction. So the first thing that I'm gonna look for is uh, strength. I would say that that in comparison to a line, if I use my ruler kind of as a guideline, isn't super close to being a line. You kind of have this one cluster a little bit down below. Uh, if I move it up a little bit, you can see that it's not exactly a great line, so uh, it's not terribly far off. So I would consider that a moderately strong. So that, that strength right there, moderately strong, that is that first part of the stud. Then we look for the type. Is that a linear relationship or not? And I see a little bit of a curvature here. So as you kind of move from the lower left, to that upper right, we see a little bit of curvature there. So um, that is going to be a nonlinear relationship. That is our type of relationship. Uh, we'll come back to unusual features in just a moment. And for the direction, as we go from left to right, that is increasing, so that is positive. So always include uh, context in this as well. So there's a moderately strong positive nonlinear association between fat and sodium in McDonald's salads. So for that unusual features, what we can see is that there are some clusters here. So we have a cluster of three dots here, cluster of three dots here, and cluster of three dots there. In your table on the notes, you will see that there are different varieties of chicken. So for our unusual features, we're gonna discuss all of those clusters. So in the lower left-hand side there, we have those with no chicken. That's our cluster. Cluster number one. And then in this uh, lower right hand side, we have the grilled chicken. And then finally, we have our crispy chicken. So in each of those individual clusters, we can see that there is a positive linear association. It's just that overall, there is a nonlinear association between all three.